good morning students in the previous video we have discussed about light shadows and pinhole camera today we will talk about mirrors and reflections students as we all use mirror at home when you look into the mirror you see your own face now what you see is a reflection of your face in the mirror so what is reflection when light falls on a surface a part of it bounces off this changes the direction of light the bouncing of light at a surface is called reflection okay jo bhi aap mirror mein dekhte ho that is a reflection suppose light kisi surface ko hit karti hai to ye wapas bounce off karti hai aur isi bouncing off ko hi रिफ्लेक्शन कहते हैं नाउ ऑल द सरफेस रिफ्लेक्ट लाइट बट पॉलिश सरफेस लाइक मेटल एंड ग्लास रिफ्लेक्ट लाइट बेटर देन अदर्स दिस इज अ मेटल पॉट एंड इट इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग ऑल रेज ऑफ लाइट नाउ वाई वी सी क्लियर इमेज ऑन मिरर बिकॉज मिरर आर मेड अप ऑफ पॉलिश्ड ग्लास and that's why mirror reflection gives us clear image and this is the best example of this statement also you can see the direction of incident rays and reflected rays is totally different okay so mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it so overall reflection help us to see the things without reflection we cannot see the things now do you know that light travels in a, a straight line now you must be thinking that how it is possible because we can see even on the corner of the room so how light can travels in a, uh, a straight line so let's do an experiment on the basis of it okay take a burning candle in a dark room now take a cylindrical object or tube next try to see through the tube as it is uh, mentioned here you can take the straight tube like this and you can see through the tube now what you will get you will be able to see the light coming from the candle next now try to the same experiment in a slightly different way take a band object or tube okay now try to see through the tube okay as it is mentioned here the tube should be like this band and you can see like this now what you will get you will be not able to see the light coming from the candle so this proved that light travels in a straight line now let's do an another another experiment on the basis of this statement okay now take a comb and fix it on one side of the thermocol sheet fix a mirror on the other side okay as you can see this is a thermocol sheet and this is a um, uh, comb and on the other side you can see the plain mirror spread a dark color sheet of paper between the mirror and the comb okay mirror and comb ke beech mein ek dark शीट uh, जो है उसको हमने प्लेस करना है ओके okay? अब जो टॉर्च है उससे आप लाइट को मिरर पर सेंड कीजिए एंड द फोर्थ स्टेप इज यू विल गेट अ पैटर्न ऑफ लाइट यू कैन सी इन द गिवन पिक्चर द पैटर्न ऑफ लाइट शुड बी लाइक दिस एंड दिस पैटर्न इज समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके एज यू कैन सी एंड दिस इज द सोर्स ऑफ लाइट बीम okay so overall both experiment has proved that light travel along a straight line so with this topic we have completed the chapter light shadows and so students here we have completed the chapter light shadows and reflections now let's see what we have learned from this chapter first is opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them second is transparent objects allow light to pass through them and we can see through these 
objects clearly. Third is translucent objects allow light to pass through them but partially. As it is mentioned in the given picture, these are the examples of transparent, translucent and opaque objects. Now next is shadows are formed when an opaque objects come in the path of light. As you can see in the given picture, when an opaque object obstructed light or you can say when an opaque object blocked the light, then a shadow something like this will be formed. So only opaque or translucent objects can form the shadow. Now next point is pinhole camera can be made with simple materials and can be used to image the sun and brightly lit objects. Okay. It is very simple to make a pinhole camera with a cardboard or you can say with a box. So it is very easy to make and it help us to see the things, things like lit objects and sun and it gives the inverted image of the objects. Now next is light travels in a straight line. Okay. This is the best example. You can see from the beam light is going uh, straight on the plane mirror and from here it is coming back. So this is pattern of the light which proves that it always travel in a straight line. And last point is mirror reflection gives us clear image. Okay. And this is just because of plane mirror and uh, from here it is reflecting back. So mirror always gives us the clear image. So this was the summary of the chapter light shadows and reflection.